Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I am so excited because I'm going to be creating this whole entire look and reviewing, demoing the new products from LYS. We have the serum, the powder highlighter, and then the liquid highlighter and some other goodies here you guys will get to see throughout the video. But basically I'm not going to be talking um, while I'm applying my makeup. I just want you to guys see the application of pretty much everything. At the end, I'll let you guys know how I feel about the products, whether I recommend or not, that sort of vibe. Um, you guys will get to see the swatches and all. So with that being said, we're just going to jump right into today's video.
Alrighty, my love, so this is the completed look. I have to say I am obsessed. I haven't done like a fallish, kind of like smoky eye in a while. I've been really sticking to my minimalistic, simple vibes and it's fall and I just feel like fall is the best time for the dark vibes, dark lips, dark eyes, so why not, right? Um, so I hope you guys like the look, but we're gonna get into my overall thoughts on all the LYS products that I tried. Uh, starting with the Think Bright Glow Hydrate Serum. I have to say I am obsessed with this. It is very hydrating but super lightweight. This to me I think will work on all skin types because it's not an, uh, a serum or an oil that stays super super shiny. So I applied a little bit on the back of my hand. Once you rub it in, 
it just kind of um, kind of like absorbs into the skin without leaving you with that like glass skin look or like that glazed donut look if you have super oily skin. So you could definitely prime your skin with this or you can mix it with your foundation as you guys saw uh, while I was doing the makeup application portion of the video. Um, I just love the glow that it gives but again it's not an excessive wet look. I have other oils and primers that are very intense and this just to me gives me the glow that I'm looking for without being excessive. You know what I mean? So if you have oily skin, I think you would like this uh, because it doesn't feel tacky or sticky or anything. And I feel like it kind of grips a little bit. So when you apply your foundation, it'll adhere better. And it just makes my makeup glide on beautifully. I really, really like it. I also like the fact that there's no shimmer or glitter in here. When you look at it, um, it kind of looks like there's some type of pearlescent type of things um, going on in there. But once you apply it, I don't see anything. It just gives a glow. It hydrates. And um, it does have vitamin C, which is great, and hyaluronic acid. So it definitely will help with hydrating your skin if you have very dry skin as well. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's not a super excessive type of glow. So this, I give it a two, two thumbs up. I highly recommend for all skin types. And if you're like a person that likes um, oils or serums like myself, I think you will absolutely love this product. So moving on to the, this is called the Aim, Aim High Multi-Use Liquid Highlighter. I got the shade Brave. I believe there's a total of three shades you have. This is the lightest one. Then there's like a um, rose looking one. Uh, and then there's the like deeper shade that's more of like a bronzier shade. I ended up going with Brave just because for a highlight, I didn't want it to be too deep on my complexion. And I also don't like any like champagne-y or like rosy type of tones. This said that it's champagne-y looking, but it's not like super like silverish. It has definitely some peachy golden undertones in there. So I absolutely love the shade. And as you guys can see, it's super, super blinding. Um, I love the fact that this product, you can work with it in the sense where you could get a very sheer application or a very intense application, depending on how much you apply. I will say that the um, way that this dries down, it's definitely not super dewy or wet. It definitely gives more of a natural finish. So again, if you have oily, sorry, oily skin, I think you would really, really enjoy this because it's not going to look like a glazed donut once it dries down. But this compared to other products that I have that are liquid base, it's not super intense in terms of the, like the wetness that it gives. It's more so of a, like a nice shine without all the shimmer and glitter and intensity. You know what I mean? I feel like you guys can see like you get a glow but it's not a wet type of look. Um, mind you, I did apply this underneath. So obviously it's going to help to intensify the, the glow. Quick comparison, as you guys can see, the Tower 28 highlighter looks like a glazed donut. It stays like that once you apply it compared to the LYS one. And once it dries, it just gives a natural finish. So that's exactly what I mean by it not looking wet. It's just glowy, but not wet. Overall, I think this product is beautiful for us, for all skin types. Um, I love the fact that there's no shimmer or glitter because products like that, you guys know, emphasize texture, emphasize the pores, emphasize just all the flaws that we're trying to um, kind of like conceal when we apply makeup. Um, and I think this on the rest of your body will look beautifully as well. This mixed with your foundation or just by itself, or mixing it with an oil. I think it's absolutely, absolutely stunning. Uh, again, this shade works perfectly fine for my complexion. Um, and I'm thinking about getting the deeper shade, which is called, uh, in, no, not Inspire, what's it called? Fearless. So speaking of Fearless, I ended up getting the press highlighter in the shade Fearless. This is more of a bronzier, golden type of shade. And as you guys can see, it's just stunning. And it's exactly what I use in my inner um, area of my eye. A little bit also to highlight with. It definitely has a very metallic finish. Um, you're not going to feel any type of chunkiness when you use this product. Look at it. It is so intense. It is very, very just in your face. 
but not chunky. So one swipe, look at that, you guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is beautiful for your eyes, for your cheeks, for your body. Again, there's no shimmer or glitter or chunky particles in here. You guys know I don't like powder highlighters. They're not really my vibe. And I must say, I am impressed. I was skeptical about getting this because you guys know I just, it's, I'm just not into the powder highlighters, but she did her thing. Quick comparison, you guys. First up, LYS in the shade Fearless. Next, we have Mako Darling. And last up, we have the Master Chrome by Maybelline in the shade Molten Gold. Just so you guys can get a quick comparison, if you are lighter than me in terms of complexion, this shade is definitely going to be a little bit too deep for you. But for 10 to deeper complexions, it's absolutely gorgeous. Very, very bronzy. So real quick here, we have Fearless, which is the powder highlighter. And this is Brave, which is the liquid highlighter. As you guys can see, both of them have a very nice glow. Um, if you guys were to ask me which one I prefer out of the two, obviously I like the liquid formula better. You guys know I love liquid and cream formulas, but the powder is absolutely stunning as well. Overall, the products are just amazing. They're glowy, but they're not super excessive, but you can also make them excessive if you want to. You know what I mean? Like, if you want a super intense type of glow, apply more. And I will say though, with both the powder and the liquid highlighter, this right here is the key to that extra glow. I feel like if you mix this with both, you're gonna get more intensity. So applying this as a primer or mixing it with your foundation or even mixing this with a little bit of this um, or this before you apply the powder, I'm telling you, it's gonna just give you that punch of like glow. And I just absolutely love, love, love what I'm getting here. The eyes, the face, face, skin, all of it. Absolutely stunning. Lastly, I almost forgot these two right here, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. So when I um, went ahead and started, you know, doing my lips, I grabbed MAC Cork Lip Pencil. You guys know that's my go-to. And then I realized that I had purchased the box. Um, this is the, what's this called? The Powerline Plumping Liner in the shade Creamy Chocolate. I saw Makeup Shayla talk about this a while ago, and I purchased it, never tried it, and I'm like, let me pull it out for today's look, because, you know, we have, like, kind of like a chocolate vibe going on, and it is absolutely stunning. First of all, the formula is super creamy, but I love this little brush that it comes with it. Hopefully, you guys can see it. For ombre lips, it just helps to blend out the liner so that you don't have that, like, super harsh line, and it just makes the liner look just absolutely gorgeous um it's definitely a retractable pencil which i'm not a fan of i prefer pencils that you can sharpen but the formula of this is so bomb that i don't care about not being like a regular pencil so highly highly recommend this is giving me chestnut from mac type vibes it's a very deep chocolate type of shade right there and then the other product from mag this is from um, one of their latest collections uh what collection is this you guys i don't know what collection it is but you know this one whatever um this lipstick i had my eye on it and i thought it was sold out and they actually had some left this one's in the shade burnish beige beige sorry and it's the perfect nude, you guys. Like, look at that. It has, like, that peachy, golden undertone to it. And it's just perfect. This, for 10 to deeper complexions, stunning. Like, stunning, stunning. If you um are able to get this, please get it because it's limited edition. Packaging is just gorgeous. It's giving me very kind of, like, I don't know, like, 1960s type of vibes. I don't know. It's gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. The packaging and the, the, the product itself is just beautiful. And this is an amplified, so it's very creamy. You're going to get color payoff, but the shade is what really got me like. And then I topped it off with this one as well. This is another uh, new product for me. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Caramel. This shade, you guys, is just gorgeous. It's just a caramel shade. Beautiful. I love the NYX uh, lip products. I feel like NYX has amazing lip products. Look at that. It's just stunning. Overall, I'm just feeling this vibe, you know. 
your girl went ahead and straightened her hair because I haven't um, straightened my hair since um, I did the change of color or whatever. And I am feeling it. And we got the top going on, sis. Yes, okay, let me stop. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check the description box below for all the product info. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Simply Diana J. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, beauties.